People across Northwest Arkansas are wrestling with how to manage the physical demands of cleaning up after last week's tornadoes. But for many people, they're also having to handle the mental stress of the recovery process. KNBA's Casey Smith spoke with a Rogers woman who's still reeling after her car was crushed by a fallen tree. He shows us how she's overcoming the mental hurdles of cleanup. The damage to the hood and windshield of this Kia Soul that you see behind me is just one of many in Northwest Arkansas, leaving owner Bonnie Snyder more stressed than she's felt in a while. Bonnie Snyder woke up Sunday morning to a tree on top of her car, something she struggled to process when she first saw it. I have no idea. It just went blank because if you have to process that, it's hard. From cleaning up her property to having enough electricity on a generator to power only her refrigerator to dealing with insurance companies. These are just some of the new problems that need to be solved. And what is the insurance going to do? Are they going to pay us or not pay us, help us get something? I, we don't know yet. We have claims, but they haven't even started the adjustments yet. But she's not alone. Like Bonnie, many in Northwest Arkansas are likely going through similar feelings. Natural disasters are considered trauma, collective trauma. So um, everybody has experienced it in different ways somehow. Dawn Sprague is the director of therapeutic care at the Teen Action and Support Center in Rogers. She says there are signs that could mean a decline in mental health, such as experiencing any stages of grief. Extra frustration, anger at little things um, that, that they wouldn't normally be angry about. But Sprague says these feelings are normal and there are things you can try to overcome them. Take a break. <laughs> Um, we all need time out sometimes because it helps us um, and rest and try to make sure that you're physically cared for, resting, eating, um, taking some time to do things that you enjoy. Sprague says everybody needs their own time to process their grief and suggests seeking professional help if needed. Snyder believes she'll be affected for a while. Probably the rest of my life, it was horrible. Snyder tells me she won't be able to drive this car again, leaving just another unanswered question as Northwest Arkansas continues to pick up the pieces. Reporting in Rogers, Casey Smith, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.